All right, I wanted to make this video showing this. This is my MSD brand new 6 BTM boost timing management box. Okay, on the side over here, it's got a little fitting that comes out to hook your boost reference line to to feed boost to the box. There's a little hose that goes to the little motor for the boost reference for it to read. Okay, you see how big that is? This is the fitting they put in it, okay? This fitting is way smaller than that hose inside. And the only reason it stays on there is because it's bolted through the box like this, and it's putting pressure on that hose with them little pinch clamps. I pulled it right out. There is, that is not eighth inch vacuum line. That is teeny tiny itty bitty short has one little barb on it period okay now i'm gonna have to go find a brass fitting but i'll show you something else that we did on a buddy's box this exact same box we did it to his and it worked this is a piece of steel line that you get with any normal nitrous kit that goes from the plate to the solenoids. What I did, the same thing we did to his, I cut a piece, it's about two inches long, roughed it up with sandpaper, and I'm gonna push it into here about an inch into this. Put the clamp and a zip tie and it'll stick out about an inch and I'll put the hose up on it. And the same thing, I'll put zip ties, pull them down tight and it will stay much bigger diameter and it fits tight in a piece of eighth inch silicone hose which is what you i'm using to feed this so but this is that's just ridiculous that isn't just poor engineering poor engineering and i can't hold my phone but i'll see if i can hold these up You see the difference in size there? There is no way that's going to stay in there. I don't care how much. Once you get a little bit of boost, a few pounds, and with that only having that one little barb on it on both sides, that's going to blow that off of there. That is not going to hold. You can put it on. I had a two zip ties squeezed on it holding it, and you just pull it off with your hand. It's a boost leak. It's not going to work. So MSD, you really need to do something different. I mean, damn, put a regular 8th inch hose for coming out here. Same fitting as this, but let's go a little bigger and a little longer. I mean, good God, you're paying $550 for this damn thing, and you get this little cheesy-ass piece of crap in there. But like I said, I'm going to put this in there, and it's going to go up in there like that and I guarantee you I already put it in my hose you you can't pull it off you're gonna have to cut the hose off to get it out and then I'll just take and put a little rubber grommet in the hole over here if I can find one small enough in my kit if not I'll just dab a little RTV over it and call it done but yeah that's that's just poor engineering on that part you spend that kind of money for something and, and then the fitting, it won't even work. And if you guys have got it to work, then, you know, good on your end. But I'm not dealing with it. Sorry, that's just uh, not going to do it. So I just wanted to share that with everybody on this box. Stay safe, God bless, and we'll put some up later when I actually get this thing running.